One day, a man was returning home after work and saw his son riding a bicycle. While this was a situation of no concern, the man did become startled at the sight of his own wife seemingly panicking. The woman chased after the boy with a huge bag of hay. The man assured his wife that he would stay and watch the child so she could go in and rest. She handed her husband the bag and said, While you walk with him, I will go home for a few minutes and come back. He rides his bike so fast. I won't forgive myself if something happens to him. But I'm here. I will do whatever it takes to make sure that everything is fine with him. I will protect him. The husband assured his wife. Together, we will do better. After all, there are so many dangers in life, twists and turns. I am afraid that he will be unable to steady himself, fall and hurt himself. The wife insisted. Yes, but that's how people learn. Next time, he will be more careful where he needs to slow down and where he will stop. Learns what pain is. Why won't you let him learn that? And what is this bag of grass for? The man frowned. I am a mother, and I want to save him from the pain. So I'm running around with this bag of dry grass and throwing it down when I think he falls, said the wife. The parents got so carried away with the argument that they did not notice how the child got off the bike. He walked over to a large pile of fallen leaves and began to play in it. The boy noticed a box of matches that someone dropped and struck one of the sticks. A small flame lit up, racing quickly down the length toward the boy's fingers. Seeing this, the boy panicked and dropped the match into the pile of leaves. The autumn breeze fanned the fire and the boy did not understand how he found suddenly within a ring of flames. He freaked out and screamed, calling on his parents for help. The father and mother rushed to their son. Son, I'm running to your aid, shouted the woman. The man swept away the leaves and pulled his son out, pressed him to his chest and looked at his wife. Yes, now your hay would help a lot. So I don't care about him now? But what kind of mother would I be if I wouldn't protect my only son? The wife said. Keep in mind that the more straw we lay, the stronger the desire to break through it at any cost. The husband replied. He continued. If this fails, a person can even begin to burn through life. After all, he would not know what pain is and what freedom of choice is. You think it's a bag of straw, but it's actually a bag of problems. It contains all the horrors that you wander about, all the fears that live in you, all the fears that you are filled with. Everything you think and worry about gains strength and grows because you give it energy. Protect him, pity him, but give him the opportunity to learn to live independently. Find out what you can and can't do. This will help him in the future when you and I are gone. Sometimes our love does more harm than help. Excessive guardianship serves selfishness, not letting them learn from their mistakes is the worst thing we can do in parenting. 